so often we put so much of ourselves into our peace that we don't that we can't take critique without taking it personal and, uh, and thereby not valuing it for what it really is that's a very good comment because it is ourselves we are the creation people ask me all the time <clears throat> well how did you get started in this and really for me personally it chose me I didn't choose it it was something that I had to do so from that aspect it is very very personal but you've got to allow yourself that opportunity just like a child when you reprimand a child for doing something wrong they don't like it but they learn from it and uh, and so basically that's what we're doing we may not like what we hear but we're going to learn and we're going to take that knowledge and we're going to be determined enough to come back and do better and each time we do something we learn a little bit more and it's going to get better every step of the way if you get caught up in the trap that you think you're the best already you're going to be there you're not going to move forward I know artists that their work has stayed the same from 30 years ago you can walk up and you can look and you can say oh I know who done that and it looks the same as it did 30 years ago and to me that's not growth I think I think great art should grow and and improve constantly and it doesn't have to stay the same I mean your technique uh, uh, your the way you think the way you do things um, it, it doesn't necessarily have to say well I, I see that work of art and that's Jose Valencia's because you recognize it it can be Jose Valencia's and you could walk up to him and go wow I wonder who done that and it would be the same artist so um, you know I, I just think that uh, we've got to let ourselves be open to criticism to learning uh, to improvement and thicken your skin and just if this is what you really want to do then you just trudge forward and uh, and keep producing and and it happens it, it will happen part of the same problem with that though is that you may find a niche and an inequality of uh, where your your uh, consumers see it and so they start buying and they they they, they expect that. So they, they expect that. So then, unless you really push, uh, you get caught in there because this is this is your bread and butter now, and you're feeding yourself and your family with it. And so, rather than push through that and continue to grow, we we find ourselves caught right there because it's bread and butter. And and that's very true. There's many artists that that are doing that. It's just a personal call. It just depends on where you want to go with your art if you do find a niche and you want to stay in that niche and you're comfortable with it and you're making money more power to you uh, that's my take on it uh, I think that uh, if if the demands there you're doing something right and uh, when you're doing something right you probably shouldn't change it but there's always room to learn and grow and improve it doesn't matter what niche you're in that's my belief <clears throat> Any other uh, comments or questions? Well, I hope this has been somewhat informative. So I appreciate you all being here, and hopefully you'll all be back for the next round. Thank you. So, thank you. <clears throat>